Today's video is all about photos you should take on your GoPro. Now, I shoot on the GoPro Hero 7 Black, that's why I've added it into the title, but it doesn't matter what GoPro you've got. Now, Bryden hit me up on Instagram and he was like, should I use the GoPro to blog or buy a point and shoot? Now, I'm assuming that blogging that you have put the B in front of it is maybe you're capturing images, maybe you want to vlog as well and you want to record, whatever it is. You guys heard of the, the saying like, good poets borrow, great poets steal? That's what this is all about, giving you some ideas. And at the end of this, I'm gonna challenge you guys to take on a challenge that I'm gonna run myself through on my next trip. I'm gonna run myself through it? I'm not gonna run myself through it. I'm gonna actually take part in it, but you guys can take part in it as well. All right, let's get stuck into it. Number one is titled Splash. Now, it's a very simple photo to take. I've given you guys this insight in the last two vlogs, posted up here, of how I've actually been capturing these on my GoPro. A lot of you guys have been asking, have I been shooting raw? Well, to capture this photo, unfortunately, or the photo that you can see on the screen, unfortunately, you can't use raw when you're shooting in time-lapse. So if you do want to shoot raw, you're going to have to have someone fire the trigger, but if you, in photo mode, but if you want to do it yourself because you're traveling solo or, I don't know, because, I don't know, you're, you're motivated, you don't have a friend, whatever it is, then just do it like this, time-lapse. So you're setting your, your photo, your camera up in time-lapse photo mode. You know, this goes right back to the Hero 5, possibly even, even Hero 4. All I did with this was I wedged the camera in the sand. Now, if you can see at the bottom of the shot, there is a reflection from the water. That was part of the aesthetic that I wanted to keep in the frame, was having the camera right up to the edge of the water so I could create some form of reflection. Once you perform the action a few times, like in this case, it was splashing up some water, um, I would highly recommend going back and just checking through, just reviewing some of the shots, just to make sure that you're happy with one of them, rather than waiting till you get back at the end of your shoot and being like, damn it, they're all Oh, shit. The next image is titled C and you'll notice that I've put on this chest strap because to capture this image I was using this accessory. It's real basic. The, um, the, the strap sort of just sits over here. You can tighten this up, you know, however, however you want it to, to have it, however you want it to have it. But what? However you feel comfortable wearing it. Again, technically with the camera I was doing the exact same thing. Oh my gosh! Okay, sorry, sometimes these things get a little annoying. So, I like to set it up this way with the screen, having accessibility to the screen, as opposed to it being this way, and you know, like putting the screen down like that. And then I can like, whilst I'm horse riding, obviously I can look at what I'm doing with the screen, then I can flip it up and away I go. I can capture that image. That photo in particular was actually captured on the Hero 4 Silver. So if you have that camera, I'm just showing that you don't need a Hero 7 Black to capture these photos. Let's say you don't have this chest strap, but you have a bite mount. You can always stick the bite mount just here and do the same thing. Image number three is titled Sunset, quite simply because the time of the day that it was captured. Location was Joshua Tree National Park. I went out there a couple of years ago with my buddy Jax captured this on the GoPro Hero 5. And um, yeah, basically it's a real simple image to take, use your eyes, find a nice location, a nice aesthetic. And that's all I did. I was like, oh dude, those rocks are gnarly. Like, do you mind if I run over to that little hole and I give you the GoPro and you shoot from here? And so basically I framed up with my eyes, said, I'm gonna go in the middle there. Can you fire the trigger? Let's shoot this on burst. Um, obviously I've colored this in Lightroom. I've taken out the blues out of the sky. I've been able to give the, you know, the rocks a little bit more aesthetic and a little bit more sepia tone and vibe. That's just something that I like. You can edit it the way you want. If you want to see how I edit images, just jump up here in the cards and you can see my editing tutorial. Quite simple, again, Framing up, firing a burst, performing an action. Number four. The next image is titled Reflection for apparent reasons. Um, obviously, you can see the subject. Her reflection is in the window of the train. I shot this on the $200 GoPro Hero, which is essentially like a GoPro Hero 5 body, middle of the last year. Again, wanting to prove that point that I'm playing around with the different models of GoPro and you don't always have to be shooting with the best one. For this image, it was purely just about the right time of day. We were setting off um, during golden hour on the train line and I could see that the sun was creating this really beautiful light and reflection on the glass panel or the glass window. It was really natural. It was just like, she was looking out the window. I could see the reflection pointed at the subject, 
hit the photo. I didn't even, it was not, it wasn't raw, it was just auto. In the edit with this one, I pulled down the um, shadows and increased the contrasts and maybe added a little bit of vignetting, which is just making sure that, you know, the, the edges are a little darker, just so that the eye then focuses more on the center of the image. The coolest part of this image is that reflection. It's like that poignant moment of thought. What is going on in the image? It's giving the viewer something a little bit more I guess to think about <laughs> then you know and there's just depth to it there's just a lot of depth to the image and that's why I really like this image captured on a really cheap camera so again challenging you guys to do the same I'm titling this last image selfie because I feel like it's more I guess unique to the way I like to take selfies during you know using a point of view as opposed to like holding the camera out like this again very simple with this one I didn't even you know I had the bite mount on but I didn't use it I was just framing up like this making sure that the landscape was looking good. And again, playing around with composition, putting a hand in the shot, making sure my feet are in the shot. Is it weird that I was covering my mouth then? I apologize that. But you know, it's a very, very popular style of GoPro photo. Because you're using a wide lens, you're able to add in, well, one, that human and personal element to the image, but also you're able to capture that landscape, which is, pretty much the hero of this shot. But again, if you were to take me out of the shot and you know, or there wasn't any sort of human element to it, it'd be harder to connect with. So think about that. Think about like that, you know, that personal touch, adding the element of humanity into a photo so that the viewer can relate. All right, so here's your challenge. You have to create five images within this month under those same five themes, splash, sea, reflection, selfie, sunset or splash sea sunset reflection selfie they are the five themes that i am challenging you to go away and capture five images post them on your instagram feed use the hashtag five flicks and hashtag jake rich challenge and at the end of this month i'll go through all the images and i will choose a winner you can live anywhere in the world you don't have to live just in australia for this particular prize i will send the camera anywhere in the world with this one, but you have to have taken the photos this month. They have to be captured in May. You cannot take the photos. They can't be old photos that you've captured. And I will do some stalking of the winner, thorough stalking of the winner <laughs> before I award the camera to anyone. So make sure you go out and you use this as an opportunity to go and like, think about the shots that you want to take. You've got some themes there. They have to be taken on a GoPro. They can't be taken on any other camera. And I want them to be on a GoPro because that's the camera that Bryden is taking on his next holiday. So shout outs to Bryden. The only other rule is post them on Instagram. You must post all the images on Instagram. Any age can enter. And look, I'll put all the T's and C's listed in the description below, but I hope you guys are stoked to get involved. It's the five flicks challenge. I challenge you to go out and capture some great images. If you have liked this video, then do punch that thumbs up button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Oh yeah, if you're new around here, turn post notification, no, notification, join and subscribe. <laughs> if you're new around here, yeah, turn them posties on. I'll see you in the next upload, JR. Peace. Break.